welcome to Radio Angaza. I am Nelson Odiambo and here are the latest news headlines. Man dies by suicide days after reportedly killing his elder brother. Relief for Nairobi residents as borehole begins to fill up amid drains. A 43-year-old man who has been on the run after reportedly killing his elder brother has been found dead. The body of Peterson Kamau Karimi was discovered on Tuesday inside his late parents' house in Mudigi village in Kirinyaga County. According to Mudigi sub-county assistant chief Crispina Gadoni Masharia, the body of the deceased was found hanging by the neck. Reports indicate that he may have died by suicide. The deceased had been on the run after he was accused of hitting and killing his 45-year-old brother, Julius Gitari Karimi, with a blunt object. The incident happened last week on Tuesday. According to the residents, the family had suffered double tragedy, with two of its sons now laying in the morgue. Residents are now blaming the rising cases of killings and death by suicide on uncontrolled alcoholism and abuse of drugs. Moving on swiftly, after enduring a difficult period of prolonged water shortage, landlords and homeowners in Nairobi are breathing a sigh of relief. Although the rains have come with bad news for most people across the country, many in Nairobi are busy harvesting the blessings in every drop of the precious commodity. Months of hot and dry weather have raised concern among residents of Nairobi and the surrounding areas like Kitengela, Ati River, Rongai and Machakos. Many families were forced to change neighborhoods in search of water. Others who could not move were forced to dig deeper into their pockets to afford water. Those were today's top stories. In the business segment, Equity Bank Group has posted a net profit of $46.1 billion for the full year ended December 2022. This was the key highlight during the bank's investor briefing on Tuesday in which it announced a dividend payout of 4 Kenya shillings per share. Equity Group's net profit up a 15% increase when compared to a $40.1 billion posted in 2021. Pre-tax profit for the year reached Kenya shillings 59.8 billion from 51.9 billion Kenya shillings posted a year earlier. In sports, in sports, Daniel Wanyonyi has agreed to a bossing rematch against Karim Mtukazi Mandonga at the end of April in Nairobi. Wanyonyi is seeking revenge after the Tanzanian beat him on July 4th during their untitled super middleweight fight that was held at the Kenya International Sports Center Kasarani. Karim Tukazi Mandonga has said that he is ready for a rematch with Kenya's Daniel Anyonyi. Mandonga took home the vacant sports pugilistic syndicate of Tanzania PST lightweight heavyweight title. Mandonga took home the vacant regional pugilistic syndicate of Tanzania, PST light heavyweight title after outclassing Ugandan boxer Luke Yamuzi 74-78, 77-75 and 77-75 at the Kasanani Gymnasium. Thank you listeners. That's all for our news program today. Thanks for tuning in to Angaza. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow with more news weather, business, entertainment, and sports. Have a great day.